Currently, in the U.S., only 9% of plastics packaging is recovered. We're wasting a valuable resource, but we have a circular solution and we'd like you to be a part of it. Imagine a tube of toothpaste or a deodorant stick, common consumer goods that we use daily. As we do, we end up with empty containers, tens of millions of them. We may wonder, do I recycle them? Do I throw them away? Even if I do my part, how do I know they're actually being recycled? Millions of people ask these questions to the tune of 35 million tons of plastic each year. We think we've found a solution. Packaging experts at Colgate Palmolive teamed up with scientists at MIT's Center for Transportation and Logistics to identify and quantify potential value streams missing in current supply chains. We identified business models that could change how we think about, buy, use, and dispose of the plastics that carry our daily necessities. Today, more and more people buy online. Our product moves from factory to warehouse to our online retailer's fulfillment center. Then, in what's called the last mile, a delivery person brings our purchase to our front door, and that accounts for a bulk of the logistics cost. Right now, this person leaves our door empty-handed, but should they? We'll get to that. First, a bit about the end of life for our common containers. Because of location, recycling constraints, or even international agreements, or maybe because of their size, chemistry, or material complexity, many containers are just not recycled. If only 9% of plastics packaging is recycled, the rest go to landfill, or worse. Of recovered plastic, half gets incinerated for energy, and less than 2% is actually recycled in a closed loop or bottle-to-bottle -bottle system. We think there's a better way. In this new model, we take advantage of two leverage points. One, when we make our decision to buy, and two, when the delivery person is at our door. Remember that toothpaste tube or deodorant package? Imagine we're online and we choose circular economy as we click to purchase. We buy packaging specially designed to be taken back. We all get to do the right thing, the last mile generates an additional value, and we can track our circular product back into the recycling system. Now, when the delivery person is at our door, they no longer leave empty-handed. They pick up valuable empty containers and return them to smart sort centers. If we can receive a package through delivery, we can now recycle automatically, no matter where we live. You might say, this is nothing new. Our grandparents did it with milk bottles. Yes, but rather than reuse the same container, plastics are now ground to pellets to be used as raw material for new tubes and bottles. We envision collecting massive amounts of packaging data and using automation to enable an efficient take-back system that captures containers too small or too complex to recycle in current large-scale systems. Our models found a profitable business opportunity with low startup costs that dramatically increases recycling rates. In a medium-sized city, it would yield over $8 million a year in profit and reuse 8,500 tons of plastic just to start. Not bad considering we currently pay for recycling through city taxes and fees. So, by providing clear customer choice, digital system sharing, intelligent take back, and innovative manufacturer design, circularity can be a wave of the future, and we'd like you to be a part of it.